Hello there! In Godot latest release 3.1 we had a lot of improvements. In this video let's check what was improved in the find and replace system. So I am with Godot 3.0 open here with a project that I have, Munchiser, and I will go here into the script tab, to the script mode, and I will make this distraction free so we can check how it was in Godot 3.0. So this is one of the scripts of my, my game, I will fold this. Let's see how was the features that we have in Grow 3.0. So I will highlight this word here and I will go into search and we could find, so I can press Ctrl F and Grow will try to find occurrences of this word into this specific script. So this will only show, let me unfold everything here. This will only show occurrences of this word into this script specifically. We could also go here to go to the next occurrences. We could go back so to the previous occurrences. It could match a specific case. So for instance, you can see that it is highlighting this uh, occurrence here, but you can see that it is capitalized. So I can ask Godot to match the, the specific case and it's not highlighting anymore. So uh, it's not considered this occurrence specific. I can also ask Godot to try to find the whole word. So if you don't trigger this, Godot will try to find occurrences on words that contains this word you are trying to find. But if you toggle that, Godot will filter all occurrences that doesn't match exactly the word that you are trying to search. So if I toggle this, you can see that this method that was being highlighted is not being considered as an occurrence anymore and this new astro mouse is not being considered as an occurrence as well. Also we have the ability to ask Godot to replace these occurrences so we have this shortcut Ctrl R to replace and what this does is that we will ask Godot to replace occurrences with another word. So let's say uh, I want to replace occurrences of the astro mouse word with space body for instance. And we can ask Godot to replace the, the current occurrence, so it will replace one, which was this first one here, and now we can replace the next one, and so on and so forth. I will undo this, and we could ask Godot to replace everything, so Godot will instantaneously replace every occurrence of the search word with the replace word. And we could also, uh, let me undo this, we could also ask Godot to replace only the selection, you can see here, and we could trigger a selection and make Godot only replace on this specific selection. So you can see that we have space body here and we don't have it here, neither we have it uh, from on the bottom here. So this was the, the find and replace features on Godot 2.0. So now I am in Godot 2.1. And I didn't trigger the distraction free mode because I want to show you something. If you notice in the bottom panel, we have now the search result button. And currently it's empty, but here is where most of the improvements are. So if I go here into search, you notice that now we have this find in files option. I will open this. And with this, we can search for occurrences of a keyword into every file in the project, or at least into GD script and shader files. So let's say I want to search for occurrences of the astro mouse word. We also have this whole word and match case options. So it's the same as a common search into a single file. But now things got interesting because now we can filter this option to be project wide. So every file that contains this word into its content will be displayed here as well but we can also filter the search into a very specific folder. So let's say we want to make this search just on the actors folder. We could do that by selecting this folder and Godot will only return files that contain this word into this specific folder, which is very cool, especially if you are importing modules that you had in other projects into a new project and you want to replace occurrences of a word just into a specific folder that is the folder where this module was imported but for the purpose of this video i will leave this blank so it will happen into the whole project and you notice that now we have the replace button and the find button but what i will do is that i will go directly to the the replace because most of the features into the find 
option are into the replace option as well and the replace option has more features available for us to review so i will replace here and the first thing that you notice is that now we have content fed into this search results panel so i will increase this and now we can see that we have these occurrences on the level gd which is this file but if i fold this we also have occurrences of this word into the gravity body and some other files as well but let's say i want to replace these occurrences now because this is what we are trying to make right if i open this you notice that kudo displays one line for each occurrence even though it happens in the same line and you also notice that we have checkboxes so if i uncheck this kudo will ignore this occurrence not this line but this first occurrence here so if I want to replace just, uh, let's say, this first occurrence into this line, I can uncheck this and check just this first one. And Godot will only replace the occurrence that are checked with these checkboxes here. But there is something more interesting about this search menu here, this search panel. If I fold this and go to this gravitybody.gd, if I click in one of these occurrences, Godot will guide me to that specific line. So I will click here into this 15 line occurrence here and you see that Godot opened the file and we are already into the 15 uh, line of this file which is where this occurrence happened. So it's a very powerful tool that you have at your disposal and let's try to make this a uh, replacement here. I will replace every occurrence of the Astro Mouse with uh, let's say space body again now this option is turned on you can see that there is a warning at the side there is no undo for that so if you really want to use this feature it's better that you have a version controlling system because as it says you have no undo option so i will replace here and you can see that this already happened so this was set astro mouse and now it's set space body we have just space body uh, occurrence now we don't have astro mouse if I try to search this again, search, finding files, astro mouse, we still have some occurrences in the, the level because these were the two lines or the two occurrences actually that I unchecked in the previous search. If I go here, you see that we don't have anything changed. So this is a very powerful tool that we now have at our disposal that makes the building script editor even more powerful. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.